When a man happened upon a sick hedgehog, he decided to help the small creature. Little did he know the chain of events his altruism would spark that day. Jerome had been an animal lover for as long as he could remember. He lived in a small apartment on the outskirts of his city and thoroughly enjoyed the proximity to both city and country life. He spent each morning and afternoon taking his dog for long walks. That is, until poor Jerome's pooch passed away from old age. It was a difficult loss especially considering the quiet, introverted lifestyle Jerome enjoyed. He lived alone, and he almost exclusively preferred being with animals over other people. After his dog passed away, he kept to his routine of going for morning and afternoon walks as a means to cope. There was something freeing about not having to be intentional with what route he walked. He no longer needed to prioritize his pet's comfort and patterns. So, Jerome decided he would try new walking routes and get even more familiar with his area. It was one such day when Jerome found a new local park that he'd not noticed before. It was there that he saw what looked like a cluster of burrs partially obscured by some brush. Curious, Jerome went to investigate. As he got close, the clump of burrs hissed quietly at him. He stooped down to examine it more closely and realized he was looking at a real-life hedgehog. After a few moments, Jerome understood why he had not realized the hedgehog was an animal until he got very close. It was because the poor creature was weak and struggled to move even an inch. The animal was injured or sick in some way. It tugged at Jerome's heartstrings to see yet another animal fight for its life. He would not be able to stand it if he walked away without helping the hedgehog. So for the next several minutes, Jerome carefully figured out how to pick it up without getting poked or bitten. When he finally lifted the animal from the ground, he spoke aloud and asked what the hedgehog's name was. It was mostly a joke, but he also knew that voices can be calming to animals in pain. In a near cartoonish manner, a couple of the hedgehog's quills stood up. Jerome smiled and thought it was cute that the animal seemed to hear his question and respond. He decided to give it an affectionate nickname and called the hedgehog Spike. With the formal introductions out of the way, Jerome carried Spike all the way home. After what felt like an eternity, he got to his vehicle and made a beeline towards the nearest animal clinic. As Jerome and Spike entered the building, they got some strange looks. It was not every day a man walked in with a wild hedgehog cradled in his hands. Luckily, because of the attention Spike was drawing, a veterinarian on her lunch break came to the lobby to see what was going on. When Jerome explained the situation, she very generously offered to give Spike a look during her remaining break time. The vet took Spike to her office and examined it. She knew almost instantly that the hedgehog was ill and in need of emergency surgery. So the next day, Jerome returned to the animal clinic two hours before they opened, and the vet did the procedure for them pro bono. After the surgery was done, Spike was exhausted and slept for a long time. Jerome was about to leave, thinking he had done his duty and now he could leave Spike in professional care. The vet stopped him on his way out though, to clarify that she did not have the proper resources to house the tiny creature. Spike would not survive being immediately released back into the wild. For those reasons, Jerome found himself buying a cage, food, and all the necessities needed for a hedgehog guest. Spike temporarily moved into Jerome's apartment. Feeling sentimental, he decided to bring Spike out with him on his walks like he'd done with his beloved dog, but only once a week. Each Friday, they'd share this experience together. Jerome enjoyed the companionship, as well as the knowledge that exposing Spike to its natural habitat assisted in its recovery. After a few weeks, people all around the area began to recognize Jerome and referred to him as the king of the hedgehogs. It was this reputation that led to not just one, but two people approaching Jerome with their hedgehog-related queries. He felt strange about this because he was no expert on the subject. He'd simply been in the right place at the right time when he had saved Spike. However, hearing that did little to assuage the two well-meaning people from asking for Jerome's help. The first time, he thought a prank was being pulled. A teenager came up to him and said that they had found another injured hedgehog. The teen brought Jerome to a small stretch of land near the edge of the city. As it turned out, the teenager was not pranking Jerome at all. There really was an unwell hedgehog where the teen had indicated. Jerome knew what to do. He gave the new friend a nickname, Prickles. Then he brought Prickles back to his favorite veterinarian. Nobody at the clinic could believe their eyes when they saw Jerome walk in cradling a different hedgehog. They had not forgotten the first time that it happened, only weeks before. 
When the vet heard that Jerome was back, she rushed out to the waiting area to make sure Spike's health hadn't declined again. When she realized what was going on, she told Jerome to do just as they had done the last time. So the next morning, Jerome brought Prickles to the vet to be treated. He then went out and got a second set of hedgehog accommodations. Everything went smoothly that day. Jerome set Prickles up at his apartment and then he resumed his normal life. Not long after, Jerome encountered a second person who claimed to have found a young abandoned hedgehog. Once again, they were adamantly serious, and so Jerome followed them out past the city. He was blown away when he saw the teeny baby hedgehog in person. In such a short time, Jerome went from never seeing a hedgehog in person to saving the lives of three of them. He knew exactly what to do this time, and he called the vet to ask if he could come by the next morning with yet another hedgehog in need of help. She laughed over the phone, but agreed to the plan. For the third time, things went well, and the newest hedgehog moved in with Jerome, Spike, and Prickles. This one was a female, and Jerome decided to call her Madam Pointy. Jerome stayed in contact with the vet, who had also become invested in the well-being of these animals. After months of recuperation, all three hedgehogs were healthy and ready to be released back into the wild. It was not easy for Jerome to say goodbye to Spike, Prickles, and Madam Pointy. He felt like he was reliving his dog's passing. For that reason, the vet accompanied Jerome the day he was freeing the animals. The humans opened the cages together, trying to let the hedgehogs go all at the same time. Both Jerome and the vet smiled when they quickly scurried away. After a few seconds, they were obscured in the bushes, a common hangout spot for hedgehogs. All three were home and safe, back in their natural environment. In the following moments, something truly wonderful happened for Jerome. It was so beautiful that both his and the vet's eyes welled up with tears. After the hedgehogs disappeared, Jerome let out a long sigh. He had never intended to house the animals, and despite that, he had spent a good deal of his time and money caring for them. The vet was intimately familiar with the mixed feelings that arise when an animal is released back into the wild. There was happiness because that was the best thing for the animal, but there was also sadness in saying goodbye to someone you'd nursed back to health. It was then that the vet had a light bulb moment. She remembered that old customers of hers were looking to give their elderly dog away. The family did not have the resources to tend to the aging dog and were looking for a kind home to send it to. The vet asked Jerome if perhaps he would be interested in taking in a new animal. Once Jerome heard the story, he leapt at the chance to have another dog. The joy danced around his face as he set off on his new animal-loving mission. And from that day on, he had a new friend to bring along during his daily walks. What a sweet story! What do you think of Jerome's actions? Would you agree to house three hedgehogs while they regain their health and strength? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.